Welcome back to the series where so far we've been creating a tiny little app that gets details from the user and displays them dynamically in a table. Okay, so far we have this and this is a complete design of our, our, our complete app and now we have to make this app work in our JavaScript. Okay, so, so far we have all our index.html codes, I mean HTML codes and our CSS codes and that adds up to around 100, 100 lines of code. And now let's go for our script.js file and create our JavaScript files, JavaScript codes. So first of all, I'm going to be getting, getting this element. Okay, I'm going to be getting our button element because the thing is, this app should work when you click on input entry. So you, you're going to enter something here, okay? Once you enter something and when you click on input entry, you have to get that entry right here. So on click of the button, something should happen, right? So we are going to be uh, giving that condition. To give that condition, first of all, we have to get that button element. So to get it, go into the document, get the element by ID and the ID of our button right here is entry. So give the ID here. So now this variable entry will have our entry entry button element. Okay. And then we are going to be creating a click event. So whenever whenever someone clicks on that entry button, something has to happen. So add event listener. So we're going to be adding an event listener that specifies that when someone clicks on the button we're going to have to call the display details function okay so the browser would call the display details function and then also let's give var row is equal to one because so far our table has one row so we have to keep track of how many rows we are creating so var row is equal to one so far okay so let's create our function now define sorry define our function now so display display details Okay, so display details inside that function first of all let's get all the elements okay so we need the name element the age element and the grade element because all of these elements these input elements with all these all these IDs here where is it ID name ID age and ID grade they have all the details that we need as in they have all the values that we need to display so first of all let's get all of those elements document dot get element by ID so first element is name and then we are going to get the value of that element so as in the string whatever you input here we are going to get this as the value of this particular element and we are going to be placing that we are going to be storing that in our variable name okay so similarly let's also do that for our other variables. So we're going we're getting the age value and then finally the grade value okay so we've gotten all our all the values that we need to display on our table in our table so first of all we need to check that all these values were added were filled so if you fill just one of these and if you try to input that entry, it should not work because we need all of these details so we can show the perfect output for our in our table. So first of all, let's give an if statement that says if name or if not name. So if if name this particular name variable has some kind of value at all in here, then then that will be true. So if not name means it's false okay so if there is nothing inside name and if there's or if there's nothing inside age or if there's nothing inside grade so even if one of these one of these inputs are not filled then you have to alert your user and tell them to please fill all the boxes okay and then you have to you're going to create a return so once the return statement is encountered, the whole function would stop working. So if uh, if your user did not 
input any of these any of these inputs at all then you have to give them an alert and then you have to stop the execution of your function okay so after that you won't get any you won't get any output here at all because they haven't fulfilled the complete condition let's save this and see what we have so far so let me input here John and then age is 18 and here I'm not giving anything see I'm getting please fill all the boxes and it goes back there's nothing here because you haven't filled all the boxes it's waiting for you to fill all the boxes okay so it encountered the return and it stopped the execution of this function now let's also get another element the display so we're going to get uh, get the element get our table element so we can manipulate it so var display is equal to document dot get sorry element by id display that's our tables id so once we get our table then we we can insert rows in this table so we have all our values here okay we have the value of name age and grade now we need to create a new row and then new cells in that row and then we have to place all these values in those cells so first of all let's create a new row okay so to create a new row you can reference the table that you have here in this in this variable so display dot insert row so you're inserting a row in this particular display element which is our table so insert a row in the table and you have to give your index here so the index if it was zero then it would have inserted that row in the first position of the table which is right here so this table heading would go below and then you'll get the new row above it but since we give since our row index starts from one okay it starts from one so that means zero is this index and the one is going to be the second row okay and then we can create now we've created our row we can create our cell cells so cell one is going to have in our cell one we are going to reference the new row that we created so insert this particular cell in the new row it's going to be inserted in position zero and similarly let's create cell 2 and call new row and then insert cell in position 1 which is the second position of that particular row and then var cell 3 new row dot insert cell 2 so the third position of our new row and then let's add our text inside all of these cells so we have three cells right now but you can't see it because we don't we haven't actually looked at the output yet so cell one so dot okay before that let me show you if you if we get our cells so far okay so let's just see we have our cell here but it does not have any text at all because we haven't appended all the values that we got from here into our new row so we can do that right now so in order to append text to your new rows you can use the inner html property so the inner html of the first cell sorry cell 1 is going to be name and then the inner html of cell 2 is going to be age the value the value of the input box name value of the input box age and the cell 3 is going to be going to hold the value of the input box with the id grade so because we got all those values in here okay so all those and then once you've done that you have to you have to multiply you have to add row to this okay so then because if you don't do that then the row is going to be at one at one all the time and your second row is going to be replaced with the new cells that you create so we don't want that we want the third when you give a new input it has to go to the third and then another new input it has to go to fourth row fifth row sixth row it has to go on like that so in order to do that we have to increment our row so the next time someone clicks on our entry button then we have our row value as two this time okay not one you get me 
So maybe you could make this bar row in here, but it does not make much of a difference because once you encounter this particular line, the line of execution would go directly to the function. So it'll even if your var row line was right here, it'll 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 not go to this line at all. It from here it'll jump to here. Okay, so it'll bypass this line. So it can you can have it here, or if you want to, you can have it here. That's up to you. So so far, I think we've completed. Let's check our app. So John Smith, eighteen. A. See, we have our app creating our entries. So I can give the same entry multiple times. It's going to be creating that same time, creating it. So, or maybe I could change it. And then, see John Doe here. And then maybe input John Doe again. So every time you create a new entry here and click on input entry, you're going to create you you're going to create a new row for your table so that's our little app working perfectly so you can use this in any any you can make any changes to, to this app that you want you know based on your needs I just want to teach you the logic of how to get inputs and output it in any way you want dynamically because here we're dynamically creating all our rows because we only had one row to start with and as and when we enter we're getting new ro new rows created without us adding any more new lines of code because of our JavaScript. Because the function display details is being called every time or in every time we click on this particular button, and with the same lines of code, we're getting multiple rows added. So that's it for this particular app. Please subscribe to my channel to get more more little apps and tutorials like this, so you can learn how to master javascript and other programming languages as well i don't just deal with javascript i i'll i'll be uploading videos in other programming languages too and please leave comments like the video if you like the like my tutorial and please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video i hope you have fun creating this app right along with me or after you see this tutorial Practice always makes perfect, so try to just don't just watch the tutorials, okay? Try to create the app as well and then try to play around with it. Change colors here, maybe change some functions here, maybe you can change the output mechanism here as well. Just play around with all the JavaScript codes and the stylings and everything. Uh, and I'd always love to see all the, uh, the output that you're getting, so. If you create a new app or if you create an enhanced version of this app, then please leave a link to that in the comment and I'll check it out. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.